This video is going to be my top favorite new discoveries for 2014. Now, I have already filmed a drugstore version of this video. I will go ahead and link that down in the description box below. Just wanted to reiterate that these are just items that I discovered for 2014. Um, I do have a lot of other favorites that I like to frequent, but I didn't add any of those into this video just because I wanted this to be the newly discovered items. So um, some of these you will have noticed on my channel if you've been watching my channel for quite some time. If you are a new subscriber, hello. Um, you know, these items are going to be new for you. So anyway, starting off, I wanted to mention, oh, this is one of my hands down favorite items from 2014. This is the La Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder, and this is in the shade Highlight, which is 01. That is it right there. Now, some people, they pretty much just use this as a highlighter for around the cheekbone area. I use this everywhere. I use this under the eyebrows as an eyeshadow, down the center of the face. I actually use this as a setting powder for the entire face if I use a really, maybe something like a stippling, stippling brush. I just have to use an extremely light hand with this item and I'm so fair that I can actually use this as a setting powder. That is it right there. It is so gorgeous. It almost looks wet on the skin if you put a pretty heavy swatch. So again, that is it right there in the pan. I love that thing. It's so amazing. So this next item, this is the Makeup Forever Full Cover Waterproof Concealer. This is in the shade number three. I am almost finished. I'm hoping that this will last me until the next VIB sale at Sephora. But anyway, this stuff is amazing. I can use this underneath the eyes and it doesn't get crepey. It doesn't crease on me. But I can also use this all over the face as well. So it's absolutely amazing. This is definitely the best concealer that I've ever used. It does have like a little squeezy pointed applicator tip, so definitely easy to apply and you can either use a brush to blend it out or you can use your finger, a beauty blender, anything that you want, but this stuff is fantastic. Highly suggest this stuff, amazing, amazing stuff. Something that if I don't know what I wanna put on my lips, this is what I reach for. If I'm having a really light makeup day, this is what I reach for. This is the Dior Addict Lip Glow, and this is just the original one that's like the pink version. I do know that on the Sephora website, they did have the coral one, but I'm not sure if that one's still available, but this is what this one looks like. I absolutely love the packaging. But anyway, it is essentially a clear lip balm when you apply it, but it does tend to develop a little bit. So when I applied this right before the video, and now you can see it has just a slight hint of pink to it, and it just develops a little bit more as you wear it. So starts off clear, ends up a beautiful pink shade on the lips. I love it. It smells, I would say like a sweet mint sort of. It's, oh, this stuff is good. <laughs> it is really good. Then I have a new item here from NARS. Now this is just the duo. It has a blush and a bronzer, but what I'm specifically referring to is the Laguna bronzer from NARS. And you know, I was really scared of this bronzer at first and I didn't try it for the longest time. It does seem to have a little bit of a sheen to it, but once it's on the cheeks or you know, bronzed around the face, I use it as both. I use it as a bronzer and a contour. I don't really notice any shimmer whatsoever. And to me, an item that has just a little bit of shimmer, it tends to blend out just a little bit better. So that is it right there in the pan, and there is a swatch of it right there on my hand, and I almost think that this is foolproof. So you can't go wrong with the NARS Laguna bronzer. Next up is Hands down, my absolute favorite mascara in the entire universe, drugstore or high-end, this is my absolute favorite. This is the Laura Mercier Full Blown Volume Supreme Lash Building Mascara. This stuff is out of this world. It is so amazing, but it is, it does have a very high price tag. It's $25. This is what the packaging looks like. This is a brand new one. I'm waiting to open it since I do have a couple mascaras that I'm trying to work through before I open this, but 
oh, this stuff is amazing. I found a way around the high price tag though. I do subscribe to Birchbox, which, are, which is a monthly beauty subscription service. And um, you know, you have a point system with them. You review products, you get points, you save up your points, and then you can trade those in for cash off of an online order. If you guys wanted to see my top five favorite mascaras of all time, I do have drugstore and high-end mixed in there. Let me know, leave me a comment down below, and I will for sure get that video up for you, but love this stuff, it's amazing. <laughs> then, I actually won a giveaway during the summer. It, I think it was the late summer. I will link her channel down below, but I actually won a Burberry eyeshadow from her and that spawned a new obsession, <laughs> a very expensive and beautiful obsession. But these are the, this is one of the items that I want, won in that giveaway. This is the Burberry Sheer Eyeshadow and these are eye enhancing eyeshadows. So that is what the back of the packaging looks like. The one that I specifically won from her is the shade number nine, which is Rosewood. Oh my God, I, this is my favorite eyeshadow in my entire makeup stash. It's hands down my favorite. The packaging on Burberry shadows is just out of this world. It's fantastic. That's the front. It's a very weighted, heavy packaging, it has a magnetic closure. They do come with a little dust sleeve that you can keep on the item. And a really lovely bonus with these items is that they are magnetized so they do stick together. Anyway, I wanted to show you specifically Rosewood, but I do have a couple others that are, you know, close favorites. So first up is going to be Rosewood, so this is it. Again, this was number nine. And I have to say, this shadow right here, hands down, my absolute favorite eyeshadow in my entire collection. I, I love this stuff so much. I was quite obsessed with using this as just a one shadow kind of a look. Any of the Burberry eyeshadows, I think, could be capable of being a one shadow look. So this, again, was Rosewood. And that is a swatch of it right there. It does have a beautiful slight sheen to it and it's almost like a taupey purple sort of a shade. So that's it right there. It's more of a dusty purple, I would say. And these Burberry shadows are so buttery and smooth. They're the best eyeshadow formulation that I've ever came across. The next one is going to be number 10, which is Antique Rose. And that is it right there. It's definitely more of a, you know, more of a visible purple sort of a shade. That is it there. And the swatch of this one. This one doesn't have as much shimmer in it. I wouldn't say it's a matte, but it's definitely got less shimmer. That is it right in the middle. Very beautiful purplish sort of shade. And again, it's more of a muted purple. So this one is also lovely either in the crease or all over the lid. And then the final one that I wanted to show you super fast is the shade number 24, which is Mulberry. Oh, so beautiful. It's more of a deepened plum sort of a shade right there. And this one does have multicolored shimmer within it, but it almost comes off as a sheen. Um, it's gorgeous. All of these are gorgeous, but that is it right over there on the end. So this was Rosewood, that was Antique Rose, and that is Mulberry there on the very end. Beautiful shadows, easy to blend, best formulation I've ever worked with. Sometimes I have a difficult time with blushes because I am so fair that I tend to have to uh, sheer out the majority of my blushes. and. You know, I don't have the time for that in the mornings, but I have came across this blush quite recently. This is a MAC Mineralized Blush. This is, I believe this was released with the 2014 Holiday Collection. This is in the shade Modest, and that is it right there. This is probably the easiest blush I own in my entire collection. I would consider this either neutral or cool toned, sort of a pink. But that is it right there. Very easy to blend. These mineralized blushes are fantastic. 
definitely worth the money for the mineralized blushes. I really got into Laura Mercier items for 2014 and I am so happy that I did. This next one, this is the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in the shade Amethyst. Now I do have a whole slew of caviar sticks in different shades, different textures, different finishes, but this one in Amethyst is Oh, hands down the best. So that is it right there. Again, it's one of those sort of taupey, kind of mauvish purple sort of shades. Let me give you a swatch of this. Now, this product is pretty fantastic. So there it is on its own. And then there it is. And I'm going to blend this out just a little bit. You can kind of see there's a little bit of a change in the shade when you blend it out. When you just have it all on its own, it does have quite a nice sheen to it, but when you blend it out, it's more of that sort of mauve purplish tone to it. Um, I have quite a few ways that I can wear caviar sticks. In the waterline, it doesn't come out of my waterline. All over the lid is sort of a cream shadow base. I can put this over the top of dry eyeshadows. I could run this in the crease over my dry eyeshadows and it just leaves the most beautiful sort of purplish, shiny, taupey <laughs> sheen in my crease. I can also blend this out in the crease with a large fluffy brush and I can put it underneath the bottom lash line and blend it out slightly if I wanted to. But these, definitely check these out next time a VIB sale comes around. You will not be sorry. I have a lipstick from MAC, of course. I have a lot of lipsticks, but considering this one was my favorite for 2014, says a lot. This is the Amplified Lipstick in the shade Up The Amp. And I don't know what my deal is, but apparently I really liked purple items for 2014. But let me give you a little swatch of this. This is just lovely with a neutral sort of eye look, kind of a muted blush on the cheeks. It's absolutely stunning. Love this. It doesn't dry out the lips since it is an amplified finish. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I kind of held off picking this up from MAC because it was kind of advertised as a bronzer and a highlighter and I'm just not into a really dark highlight because I am so fair. I am so glad I picked this up. This is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. This is my backup because if you've been following my channel at all, you might be aware that I am trying to pan and finish up the uh, one that's in my makeup bag right now for the Finish 7 by Spring Tag. I'll leave that video down below. I kind of put it in an awkward spot for you there, but I do have this on my cheekbones today, underneath my eyebrows, the inner corner of my eye, down the center of my face, on my cupid's bow. I have this stuff everywhere. It's a very multi- functional product for me. I use this stuff all over the face. And then finally, I did want to add in an honorable mention because I love this lipstick, but it broke probably the second day that I had it and that frustrated me so much. I think I may have talked about it once or twice. This is the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Lipstick in Fly High and the color on this is stunning, but like I said, it is so soft. I I find it so hard to use. I can't take this in my purse or anything with me throughout the day, so I don't tend to wear this as often as I want to just because it's so soft and so fragile. I don't want something to happen to it. <laughs> it's a beautiful sort of lilac, mauve, purpley kind of pink shade. Definitely more wearable than the Up The Amp by MAC. So that is it right there. Definitely has a high shine on it as well. This stuff looks lovely on the lips, but like I said, I did break my lipstick. It's barely attached. It's, it's, it's got issues, so I definitely won't take this out into the heat. That is it for my top new discoveries for 2014. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys have any new products that you discovered in 2014. We'd love to hear about them. Please leave me a comment and I will totally check them out. So anyway, that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.